Zealand, women make up nearly 50% of the workforce. However, they are underrepresented in senior leadership positions within both the private and public sector, which is a big issue for business. In the private sector, only 31% of the positions are held by women on senior leadership teams, slightly better in the public sector with 41%. Diversity is really important for senior leadership teams. Not only does it improve the financial bottom line, but also innovation, decision making and employee retention. These are all key issues for organisations as they move through the 21st century. At the same time, there's a gender pay gap for women in the workforce in New Zealand. In the medium wage, women earn 10% less than men. Female graduates, one year out from graduation, earn 6% less than their male counterparts for the same job. And after five years, it's 17% less. Our research found that in order for women to be successful in the sports industry, similar to other industries, it is crucial that women have relationship building skills, they are self-aware and that they are self-confident. In 2009, I developed the Achieving Career Excellence Programme. This programme is not about fixing the woman, it's about providing them the best possible skill set to enter the working environment. It's imperative that organisations consider how to develop their talent across the board so as to be a successful organisation in the 21st century. It is therefore crucial to have champions at the executive level as this strengthens leadership development for women. In an organisation it's really, really important to tap potential women on the shoulder and say, you do have what is required for this position please apply. Organisations should also consider the value of women-only leadership development programmes to maximise the potential of our talent pool. Tertiary institutions, organisations and society as a whole need to work together.